Hey y'all, my name is Vip Datum Dares and I am a Youth Ecology Program Coordinator with Wild Diversity. Today, we're going to stargaze. During this stargaze 101, we're going to learn about how to find the Big Dipper, how to use the Big Dipper to find North Star, and go over some basic astronomy information. First of all, what are stars? Well, stars are large bodies of gases that produce heat and pressure, thus creating light. Our sun is a star, and sometimes during night sky, you can see both stars and planets. Some stars are only available during the summer nights. For example, the Summer Triangle Constellation. Before we go stargazing, there are a couple of things you should be also aware of. If you live in the middle of the city, there might be too much light pollution for you to see all the stars. Also, depending on the face of the moon, the moonlight can also drown out the stars. So before you go stargazing, make sure to look up what face of the moon it is in. That can help us to find a time that's most optimum for us to see all the stars in the sky. This is a dark sky calendar that I am using to figure out when would be best for us to go stargazing. As you can see, a couple nights before or during the new moon or a couple nights after the new moon is when there's the most dark sky for us to see the most stars. You can also look up specific celestial events that you're interested in. All right, so Stargaze 101. Let's dive right into identifying some stars. You might already know the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is made up of seven stars that make up the shape of a pot with a handle. It contains seven of the brightest stars and is one of the most distinguishable shapes in the night sky. It is also one of the first constellations to show up as the night approaches. That is why it is very helpful for us to find the Big Dipper as we start stargazing because it helps us position ourselves without getting lost within the mesmerizing night sky. One of the most important ways we can utilize the Big Dipper is by using it to help us locate the North Star. The North Star is located near the North Pole, hence able to help us locate where we are at if we were to get lost during a hike. Depending on the time of the year, the Big Dipper will look different in the night sky. To find the North Star, start by finding the Big Dipper and find the very front of the pot. Those two stars will be parallel to the North Star. The North Star is also named Polaris and is a part of the handle for the Little Dipper. You might be wondering at this point why some stars are brighter than others. Well, some stars are naturally brighter than others. As mentioned earlier, stars are made of gas, which produces heat and pressure, thus creating light. Some stars produce more heat and pressure, leading to more light. And also, depending on how close the star is to Earth, the closer it is, the brighter it is to us. Something else that we can see in the night sky is the Milky Way. During certain times of the year, we can look up and see the central part of the Milky Way, which usually appears as a hazy band of light. The Milky Way contains our entire solar system along with many others. One way to find the Milky Way is by finding the Sagittarius constellation, which contains a teapot shape, making the Milky Way look like steam coming out of the teapot. Thank you for joining me for Stargaze 101 today. I love stargazing. The night sky is absolutely beautiful, and I love all the ways we've utilized these stars, such as using it for navigational purposes, or astrology, or all these wild stories we have heard since ancient times. Hopefully by listening to today's video that you are able to learn a little more about stargazing.